Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I'm Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, today's content I think is important because it lends to where the culture war is going for the Second Amendment, our rights, and how we can stay in front of this battle. It's very, very crucial that we do this, but it's a good example to highlight what the left is doing. Now, the title of this video is The Left is Switching Tactics. What they're really doing is they're going back to an age-old tactic of mockery, arrogance, and basically condescension. They're doing it through Samantha B's show. It's called Full Frontal, and I've got clips in this video to reference as an example of what's happening. Now, it's incredibly important, guys. If we're going to make the difference that you know we can make together, because we are unified on this, it's not about what someone does to us and how they frame things to us. It's how we react. It either gives them more ammunition and power, or it takes the wind out of their sails and brings more people to our side. And that's incredibly crucial. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna show a clip or two of Full Frontal, which is a show called by Samantha B, who is a comedian, who basically completely decides to go after gun control on her show as part of the left's new tactics. She partnered with Everytown USA for this. In fact, it's one of their little fundraising things, so they're definitely involved, and you can see it all throughout. Now, what I'm going to do is, like I said, I have everything in the description box below, and I would love to hear your comments to let me know what you guys think, if you're on board with me, if you see, what I, see where this is kind of going, and your thoughts, because always I love to hear that stuff. All right, so let's drop down. We've got some articles and we've got some videos. So when I was researching this video, the first thing that I did was I went in and I saw how they were setting it up. Okay, and so here are the two things from Vanity Fair, which Samantha B was in an interview with, setting up this show, okay? On Wednesday, her full frontal program on TBS will focus entirely on the challenges of gun violence in America. Full Frontal Wants to Take Your Guns will air Wednesday, May 12th at 1030. So she actually named it a full frontal wants to take your guns. That's a direct stab at the gun control group, or it's gun rights uh, groups. The opening segment will feature appearances by these people, and the most important was Gabrielle Gifford, who is a, a staunch member of the anti-gun le um, left from Giffords.org. Okay, that's a very high level, so that, that doesn't surprise me. But now, this is the part that was interesting, because she set it up a very almost blind kind of way. I will say this, this is Samantha B speaking. We somehow have taken this very difficult, horrific issue and made a half-hour TV show that is really extremely funny and doesn't feel completely tragic from end to end, says B. This is a very, very funny special, and I think that comes from a place where we feel really overwhelmed. So, she's going to tackle gun violence, so I would assume that it's going to be something that can be reaching out to all parties, right? Because that's a very big part of communication and something we do is meet everyone where they're at. Don't expect them to come to you. That's a huge thing in communication. Okay, so now let's watch the first clip because I watched this and I was like, okay, if it's funny and if it's done tastefully, this could have a conversational impact. Watch what happened. Here's the first one. Here, America. Then get ready for Guns Across America Volume 1. We've taken all your favorite American songs and made them even more American by adding guns to them. Like the Star Spangled Banner. All right, so the first thing that I took from that, I was personally insulted because hundreds of thousands of people have laid down their lives, their mobility, they become disabled, or they've lost family members respecting the flag, respecting that anthem, and the nation, what it stands for. And that sacrifice transcends even to people like Samantha B, who are mocking it by putting the, um, the guns as the most important thing that we're saluting in the national anthem, which I'm pretty sure I doubt she could even say the words to. But that's pretty insulting to me. That's just me. You guys can let me know if you are, you are insulted by that as well. But the next part is what really got me, because this is a parody, and I understand parodies are supposed to be funny and edgy. However, and she's trying to reach people, she's not doing a great job. Check this out. Guns Across America, Volume 1. Available wherever fine guns are sold. So, essentially, everywhere. America is a failed experiment. Oh! America is a failed experiment. That's kind. Since you're using the freedoms that are given to people who respect the, the Star Spangled Banner and have given their lives, and you're using the First Amendment, you're protected by a military and police force that utilizes the Second Amendment, 
And you have all of these freedoms. You have the right to vote that women across the country, the world don't have. You have all, you can drive. Some countries women can't even drive. But America's a failed experiment. Not to mention the fact that over the last one, the 20th century, a hundred million people died from a centralized government that had complete control, command and control economies and militaries. A hundred million people died by their own governments. But America's a failed experiment. I doubt you even know that fact. But that's my point. They don't even know enough to reach out and understand where the other side is coming from. And this is why it's important to know your facts, to know our stats, and go from there. Now, let's keep on going because this gets a little more degrading. And this is a left thing. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Gun manufacturers are masters of disguise when it comes to hiding how dangerous their weapons really are. So I had Medi channel the Remingtons and the Glocks for the final modifications. They add gadgets like lasers to create the illusion that this death trap is a video game or a toy. All right, so what she did was she put a video, uh, she put a, uh, a minivan, and the whole thing was we're going to remove all regulations because minivans are cars and we shouldn't have regulations on minivans because we don't have regulations on guns. That's her whole point. Now, it's a stupid premise, and we're going to touch on that in a second, why it's a stupid premise, but she's basically demeaning all of the Americans to say, oh, well, it, if you have a gun, then you're just, you're, um, you're illusioned, you're, you're just deceived by the gun companies because they put a laser on it, and you're stupid, and you think it's a toy or cool. No, it's a tool of freedom. The laser is an actual tool that people will, in some cases, will add. For example, if you can't see the sights and you want to protect yourself, you would add a laser or a flashlight. Is that a cool, flashy toy, or is that actually a utilized tool to make your self-defense better because the police are a little bit defunded right now? It's, it's this demeaning and arrogance that's going to be their downfall in the, in the long run, but we're on this, guys. That's what's up. So keep in mind, she made the car reference, okay? Now we're going to go to the next one. <laughs> Why not? Or they try to emasculate those fragile men who are drawn to guns. Well, now you know when you're a little or when you're a bad. They try to emasculate the men who are drawn to guns. Emasculate. Does that sound something like toxic masculinity? Like the idea that you want a man wants to provide for his family and protect his family, or a single mother wants to protect her children? That's emasculating. Excuse me, that's toxic masculinity. But if a man wants to go buy a gun or look into a gun, that's emasculating. The whole thing is twisted, guys. This is crazy town because if you recall, toxic masculinity is everywhere. It's terrible. It's horrible. People like me, I'm their worst nightmare. The whole point is to protect ourselves and those that we love. It's not to get our jollies from having a gun. <laughs> okay, so that's the whole point. Remember, she compared a gun to a car. However, with interesting fun fact that she probably didn't even look into, did you guys know that in 2019, an estimated 38,800 people lost their lives to car crashes. That's interesting because the, because the minivan's a car. But in 2019, 15,292 people were fatally shot in the United States. That's less than half. But all the regulations for cars didn't stop. Do you see what I'm saying? Like they make these stupid straw man arguments that don't make any sense on any practical level. More people died with cars than guns in the United States in 2019, a comparable year. But then the guns are the problem because you're utilizing this as an example because there's no regulation on guns, but there is regulation on cars. But yet there are more deaths than cars. The whole thing is cyclical. It doesn't make sense. Also, there's tons of regulations on guns, but she doesn't know that either. Now, this is the FBI thing that I have up there to prove my point. It's actually, technically it's 13,927, but that, I digress. So, here's the point, guys. We have a left in America that is now moving into a mocking tone. They're moving into a demeaning tone from a position of arrogance because they aren't getting the bills done that they want to get. This whole show was about nothing's happening and we're pissed. But the point is, we need to reach people who are in the middle not from a point of arrogance, but from a point of understanding and camaraderie and basically enabling everyone with their own rights, not from a position of arrogance and honestly blind ignorance to the what you're talking about because you don't have a clue what you're talking about. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments field below and that's my response to the Samantha B. Bush from the left. And until tomorrow, I'm Braden. See you later.